Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I do videos on fashion, women's lifestyle, travel, and faith. So if those are videos that you'd be interested in, make sure to make it official, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And in today's video, this is a testimony, y'all. This video is a testimony about God's faithfulness, his love towards me, and just I don't know, like I, I'm still kind of speechless about everything that has gone on in the past two years, but I just give God all the glory, honor, and praise. And I'm just gonna finally tell you guys that I have a new car, like obviously. Um, okay, so where do I begin? So the last two years have been very tough, but last year, the end of December, 2023, I was going through like, it was a spiritual attack. I can honestly say it was a spiritual attack because everything that was happening was happening back to back to back. I thought there was a plane in the sky. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, but I had been working a job. It was a contract job, but I didn't know, like they had extended it, but I didn't know if I was going to get an offer or if it was just going to end because I was taking the place of someone who um, was on maternity leave. So I had been working there for a year and December, no, I will say I've been working there for 10 months. December made 10 months December 2023 I had applied to an apartment and I got approved and um before then I had not had my own place so I was staying with family due to just other things that happened in life and so I was like it's finally my time like I'm gonna apply I applied I was approved and then a week later I lost my job this is all in December while that was happening my car was giving me back to back issues like with a car especially when it's older i was driving a 2012 kia optima when i fixed one thing another thing would come up and another thing would come up and it was already like it had 168,000 miles on it so i drove that car y'all i drove that car to the very end which i said i would the car was paid off and i was just like I was not looking to buy a new car. Like that's the last thing on my mind. I was not, I was just thinking I'm going to push forward. And you know, when I sell a whole bunch of houses, then, you know, I'm going to get a new car. Man plans, God laughs. So I was just like, okay, you know, I'll just keep going. I finally fixed the car and I was like, we're doing good. Everything's good now. I'm going to move into my apartment. But now I lost my job. I was just like, okay, God will provide. I remember I was driving, this was all in December. I remember I was driving on like a back road. You guys are not from Houston, but if you know Barker Cypress, if you know that road, you know the road I'm talking about. And it's just wilderness. Like there's some like parks that they've created, but it's mostly wilderness. Like if you drive at night on that road, you will see deers. Like, you know, a deer can pop out and you could hit a deer. I was driving during the daytime and I remember my engine just like knocked, like my engine just stopped moving. It was like, T -t 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 -t. like it was just done. And I was like, what's going on? Like, I thought maybe it was a tire. I had to pull over the side of the road and this road people speed, like people speed, baby. They speed. Um, I had to pull over to the side of the road and I looked at my tires. I was like, is it my tires? Tires were fine. Um, then I was like, I was like, okay, let me try and start the car again. Didn't start. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like something else. And I remember like after I kept fixing the car, like the check engine light would still be on. And I would just be like, what, like, what's the issue? So another thing during this time, this is why I keep feeling like it was a spiritual attack was I had been behind on paying my phone bill because I had just always had like back to back to back issues. And I didn't want to touch my savings account. I was just like, I'll get through it when I get my next check. You know, like, you know, that life of living paycheck to pay paycheck to paycheck, it happens. And so I think my phone had just been cut off, y'all. I'm giving y'all the raw because it happens. Like, it happens to people. So I was just like, and I don't like to ask people for help. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'll figure it out on my own. Like, so I was like, okay, cool. 
<laughs> no, I didn't say, okay, cool. But I was like, okay, I can't call anyone. I, I called 911 for help. They were useless. Like 911 said they sent somebody out there and they didn't see me. They didn't send anybody. The road that I'm talking about, you will know if you see an officer because honestly on that road, it's a back road and people speed a lot. So police officers kind of stand by to like catch people speeding. They did not send an officer out. Luckily where I was, I knew, like I know the area and I knew there was a Kroger where I could get Wi-Fi and use WhatsApp. So I got out of my car. I took my important belongings with me. I left my car there. Whew, as I'm saying it now, like it means something else to me now. I took my stuff. And I walked up the road. It is a high, like, this is a back road that has high and low roads, right? And I walked to Kroger to get Wi-Fi to call my sister. And my sister came because they she lived, they live really close by. And she came to get me. And I had to tow my car to a mechanic. When I tell you, as, as I'm saying it to you guys now, I left my car behind. That's when I knew, like, that situation on top of the fact that the issue to fix it was $2,000, that let me know that God is making all things new in my life. Like I have to let go of stuff, no matter how much it hurts, I have to let go of stuff and just move on. Like I'm gonna cry during the process, but I just have to let it go. Like, because God is making a way for new things. So, you know, December was going, it was the end of the year. I was just like, you know, God, now I don't have a job. I want to move into this new apartment. My car, like I did fix the issue with my car. I paid to fix the issue with my car, but um, it, t it takes a lot out of you. Like that's money that you just keep spending on a car where I could be saving it towards other things. I was just like, I know my God will provide. I know my God will supply all my needs. This is a testimony about not just faith, but it's about trust. If you don't trust God and you don't believe his word and you don't trust that he will come through with you, there's faith is like, you can't even have faith of a mustard seed. You have to trust in somebody, trust in something before you have faith that it will come through. So I uh, I acted on faith. I was like, God, I, I was scared to drive my car at that point. I was like, God, you gave me this apartment. So I'm going to follow through. And I know you will not leave me here. I know you brought me this far for a reason. So December came end of the year I still didn't have a job because I just lost my job the end of the year came January came I moved into my apartment by faith just strictly by faith and trusting God's word I continued to pray I continued to fast like I continued to cry out to God but not only did I cry out to God I became a little angry and aggressive because the things that were happening to me one were spiritual and two that I'm not going down like that like I would, when I would pray, I would tell God, no, this is not what you called for me. This is not what you wanted for me. Moved into my apartment in January, empty, didn't have any furniture, didn't have a bed. Well, I did have my mattress and my, um, my box spring. That's it. Didn't have a couch, didn't have a TV. And I have my desk and my mirror. That's it. Didn't have anything. It took me a while to get things into this place. Like it took me a while to build. And when I moved in two weeks after that, I sold my car because I was like, let me just kind of, at least I'm close by my family. I have a place, you know, if I need to go to the store, I can order my groceries. I can manage without a car, but I need to sell this car now because I need to like kind of use this money as a seed to start, start, start over, you know? So y'all, I did not have a car for nine months, January till September. I did not have a car. But I just walked by faith and I told God the three things that I wanted out of a car and I put it in my Pinterest board and I wrote it down. I prayed over it. You know, the Bible says, write the vision and make it plain. That that was a big memory verse for me this year, because once you have a vision for yourself, obviously you're going to make your own plans and God it's going to be according to God's will. You know, they say man plans, God laughs. But I believe God is faithful. And if you tell him what you want, he will give you exactly not just what you want, but what you need. I kept writing it down and I said, I don't want a car, no. I just want a car where I can feel free to drive it and not be worried about expenses too much. 
I wanted, this is a big one, y'all. I did not want a car no more that was low to the, to the road. Like I wanted a truck, like not like a truck truck, but like a SUV, like a mini SUV. And the third thing was I wanted a sunroof. That's just, I, ever since I had a sunroof in my Kia, I just like knew I had to have a sunroof. When I tell you I got everything I wanted and more, um, originally I was going for a Mazda. So I was going for a Mazda CX-5, but then I was just like, I went to the dealership and I test drove them and I told them, I, like with me, I'm not a haggler. I like, I don't have that stress. So I told them, well, I really don't want a car. No, I really, really want a, I just want to pay cash because I have the cash. And they were like, well, you know, you know, they want their salesman. You know, I'm a realtor, so I know the game. They were just like, no, but you really going to want to, you know, spread out your money and da da da. I was like, mm. Let's just go test drive the car. So I test drove one car and I just didn't feel anything. It was cute, it was great, but I just didn't feel anything. In the back of my mind, I knew I really wanted my Audi. Like I was like, that's me. Like I like a sporty, sexy type of car. That's just me. Like that's what I like. My last Kia was, my Kia was like that. That's just what I like. I don't like anything that's just, it doesn't have character because I'm a very characteristic person. <laughs> so anyway, so I was like, okay. So I was like, you know, I don't really, I don't feel like dealing with the dealership. Like I can't be haggling and I don't want a car note. So although you can pay cash when you go to the dealership, it's just another stress. Like you have to really haggle and they make their money off of you assuming a loan, a car note. So I was just like, nah. So my mom was like, well, why don't you talk to this guy? He helped me get my car. You know, he goes to car auctions. So I was like, okay. So I messaged him, I called him, I talked to him, and I told him, you know, I'm looking for a Mazda, but really what I really like, I like Audi. I like this the small Audi Q3. And he was like, oh yeah, Audi is nice, you know, and it's expensive, but we can look. Yeah, I had a budget of, I had a budget that I went over, okay? My budget was 14, let's just say I went over that. But um, in May, I got my car. Well, I purchased the car. And, it, you know, when you get a car from a car auction, it needs like certain repairs. So it, it was hit at the back, which is like another thing that I told God, I don't want a car, if I'm buying a damaged car from a car auction, I don't want a car that was hit from the front because that tends to mess up the engine. If it's hit from the back and I have to fix that, that's fine. So I purchased the car in May. It came out of state, um, which is a fee right there. And uh, May, June, July, August, September. The car was not ready until September. The parts are expensive. <laughs> That's how I know God will provide for my every need. Because I'll tell you guys this, he was bidding on Mazdas and he just was not getting them. And I was like, I'm not paying more than $40 for a, uh, a Mazda. I might as well get what I actually really want. And when I, when I, as immediately I was like, let's just go for the Audi and we'll like, God will provide. Like God, I just kept saying, God will provide. God will see it through. And he, I think he bid on an Audi within one week, we got a car for exactly how much, cause I was willing to go over my budget once I said, you know, let's just leave the Mazda. But even within my budget, I was like, I'm not paying $17,000 for a Mazda. Like, I'm not like, no, like we might as well, if we're gonna do it, let's do it right. So um, within a week he got it. And that's when I was like, oh wow. And the mileage is really good. It's not brand new. You guys are going to see my car later. I'll give you the details. But I'm just saying this as a testimony that God is faithful. Like, I could have given up and been like, let me just go to the car dealership and go get a go get a car note. I could have just been like, well, I'm going to just keep driving this car. Like, had I not walked by faith and really trusted in God, sold my car. By the way, when I moved into this apartment, two weeks later after selling my car, I got a job offer. Like God don't play, God don't play about me. Let's just say that God do not play about me because I'm really his favorite. But that's how you have to, that's how you have to, it, like that's how you have to put the word of God on you. Like you have to really act and feel that way because if you don't, you're not really believing and you're not really trusting, you know, you're not gonna have, you're not, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to walk by faith. When I tell you all my family was like, so Sarah, you don't have a job and you just got into this apartment and you don't have a car, like, what are you doing? 
I, I didn't know what I was doing. All I knew was my God will not fail. Every time I had even a little bit of doubt because I'm human at the end of the day, I would open God's word. I would read the Bible. I would say, those that wait upon the Lord, he will renew their strength. They will mount up like angles and soar. Like I would just say those things to myself every day. I would look at the things, that car that I wanted and I would watch. When I tell y'all I watched videos, I looked at Pinterest pictures, I did everything. Like I asked questions, I would go on TikTok. Like I was so locked in with what I wanted and what God promised me. Y'all, I'm about to, I don't even want to cry, but I got what I wanted. I give God all the glory and all the praise because without him, I am nothing. I wouldn't be here today. Like when I tell y'all my life, the past two years, if it had not been for God, I'm telling y'all, I don't know where I would be. Woo. Honestly, you guys, it doesn't matter who leaves you in this life. As long as you always know that God is the only person that you need. Like, if I have God, I have everything I need. If God didn't give me a car, if God didn't give me a job, if he didn't give me any of those things, I still have everything I need because I have him. And his faithfulness and his goodness and his loving mercy towards me. Like, nobody else can give me that. A man can leave you. Your friends can leave you. Anybody can leave you, but I promise you, if you just lock in with God, like if you just lock in with God, everything that you need, he will provide for you and he will not just provide to make your ends meet. He will give you abundantly more than you can ever ask for. Anyway, ooh, let me not, I'm not going to start crying. With that being said, we're going to welcome our new car, our Audi Q3. 2021 with a panoramic sunroof. Now, let me say this. <laughs> she ain't a push start, which I still don't understand because my 2012 Kia was a push start. Apparently, there was some manufacturing issues when they were making this year a model during COVID. They didn't have enough chips for it to be a push start. But baby, I don't care. When I turn my key, know that I own my car, okay? Like, it's mine. I ain't paying no car note. But um, they said if I wanted to add it in, I could add it in for $600. But let's just, let's just slow our roll. So I'm going to go give you guys a mini tour of my car. <laughs> I'm so happy. I haven't named her yet. I don't know what to name her. I was, that's another thing that happened. My dog passed away. So I was thinking of naming her Daisy after my dog, but... She's not really a daisy. I don't know what to name her yet, but we'll think about it. I love, I love everything about my car. Like I love everything about my car. The only thing I don't like is, I guess, cause it's not push start. And then the app, the Audi app is terrible. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I'm gonna have to check, go to the dealership to run some like tests and all that stuff. I haven't done that. But other than that, I love the car. I'm an Audi girl. I really am looking at the Audi RS Q8 and Q3. Love the sporty, sexy vibe that it gives. And yeah, like, if I'm being honest, there's not a lot of cars out there that I see that are even worth a car note. But I really like Audi. I really like Range Rover Velar. And if we're just going crazy, the Lamborghini Urus, like, what? You have to, God gave me big dreams and aspirations for a reason. Like I could have just went with, went with the humble Honda. I really could have, I, no, I really, really could have, but there's a reason why God puts these things in my heart and gives me these visions. And I know that he's going to provide a means for it. Anyway, you guys, let's go. <laughs> Y'all can go take a tour of my car, let's go. The car, y'all see the panoramic view? The AC is kind of. I'm in my car. I am in love. I don't have a like phone tripod yet, so I'm just like holding it um, with my hand. 
but oh hair I'm trying to do a little twist out but yeah um but yeah you guys I love my car so far it takes unleaded gas um everything's been good so far I did have to change one of the tires but I probably need to change another one the tires are expensive like $200 per tire the maintenance for this car is going to be expensive but I don't think it's going to be outrageous you know God will provide but yeah I love the car I did get black interior my niece's car seat is already inside my car so it's turned into an anti car but other than that yeah I love it like I have Apple CarPlay if you guys saw um can you see yeah so I have Apple CarPlay my phone is not I don't know sometimes it connects sometimes it doesn't it has all the a whole bunch of people's like connections from whoever you had this car before I think this car um it came out of California I think it was used as a rental because it's it really drives like it's brand new like it drives like okay the sun is kind of getting in the way it drives like really really brand new it feels brand new the mileage is low like everything is great with this car so I'm gonna end this little car show here I'm gonna end this little video here but you guys I love the car I will be doing follow-up videos if you guys have questions about the car the process and all that stuff in depth um, let me know and I'll do more car videos but I am about to actually take it to the dealership maybe I'll vlog I'm gonna take it to the dealership this week because this car did not come with like a book so I have to like learn everything online and watch videos so I want to go do like a diagnostic on the car check it out and then um, get a book like a manual book for the car but other than that I love it I'm definitely an Audi girl definitely love Audi um, so yeah I will see you guys in another video let me know if you want to see any other follow-up videos about my car but um yeah I am so grateful and so thankful that God has blessed me with this car um, thank you guys for your support and yeah this is just the beginning um, I will see you guys in my next video bye